Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. And today we're talking about KG Pone and also Luciano. Uh, their information is out right now. So I'm gonna do this before I go to bed. I'm gonna lose a little sleep, maybe. But I know maybe I could get some sleep, more sleep uh, throughout the night instead of waking up. So this is how I'm deciding to do it now. I, we've discussed this in Discord a few times already, so... If you want to know more about uh, JP units quickly, uh, go ahead and join the Discord. Uh, we talked about a few things and uh, now I think I've decided on what we're going to be going for, for this video. For a review of uh, Luciano and also Pwn. So first of all, TMR is already power creep because if it maybe look familiar to you, this is it's literally it's literally Maria's S TMR except HP instead of MP. So HP is far more far more useful than MP on uh, a mage. So already it's the power creep. Oh boy, and this STMR is something else. This STMR is something else. <laughs> and I mean, and we don't know if it can't be dispelled or can be dispelled or anything like that because it is a. I don't know. We'll have to see. But. I'm sure it can't be, so then people will pull for it, but this is insane. An extra 10% boost on these on these stats here? Like, this is becoming Brave Frontier. Because Brave Frontier has these kind of things, so... Already, this is really crazy. Obviously not for physical damage dealers, but... For mages, already, Tetrasil feed. Um, would love this. Um... Who else? Anyone that uses ice like Gilga Gilgamesh or the Visions version would love, love, would love this. That's for sure. So this is crazy. This is really crazy. This S team is insane. And we've just gotten started, guys. We've just gotten started. So... Secondly... Second of all... Um, he's just... He's just insane, like for example, that's 300% boost that lasts more than one turn, which is really unheard of. Most magic boosts that are this large usually only last for like one turn, so it's kind of buggy so you don't really get to use it. This time you get to use it for four turns, basically three turns. Almost three turns. Plus you get mod boost and you get chaining on top of that and it's available turn one. Dude, like this is crazy. On top of this, on top of this uh, boost, and all three of them have the same thing on top of mod boosts and ability damage boosts. Like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. He has 100% chance of not being targeted, which is really insane in a way because the first few turns, uh, bosses won't hit you. For, units, for bosses similar to like Ultima Weapon or Arden, he won't hit them. So, hit this unit. For a few turns, I always remember, guys, that. Uh, Mirage, not Mirage, Camouflage does degrade over time. I don't know how what the percentage of that is, but it does degrade over time, so it's not like he's impenetrable. He will get hit eventually, but not for the first few turns. Man, man, this Limp Burst, man, this Limp Burst is insane. Sure, it doesn't deal damage, but 30 times mod boost, dude? Like, come on, dude. 30 times mod boost, and also MP heal. 255 at max level, I wouldn't recommend doing this though. I wouldn't recommend ma maxing this because it doesn't... The only thing you're using for is, is the mod boost, but still... 12 and 1 first age per turn at a minimum level. And 200, 200 MP restor restoration? That's insane, this is really crazy. It's only 20 Olympus crystals. You get this up very quick. 250% TDH magic. 100% true dual wield magic. Uh, the only flaw I've seen... The only flaw, and it doesn't really matter for most people, he has no stats immunity. They have to use a slot to use to get some stats immunity, but they made it up by giving him 250% TDH and also 100% true dual wield. Man, this is insane. He gets all these mod boosts as well, dude. It's like... And on top of these mod boosts. So let's see what all these mod boosts are, guys. Let's see what these are. I'm sure these are the cooldowns. No, they're not. What? So, these mod- these are already- this is already- This 
is already a huge mod. This is more than 18 times now. Through a passive. This is passively buffed, guys. And what's this? Alright, well these ones are still strong. These are the Imperial ones, so they're not really going to use that often, but still getting some mod boost to those as well. Plus getting mod boost for these. Like, there's so many mod boosts all over the place. This guy is mod boost crazy. Plus, he can be a breaker, guys. He can be a breaker. He can be your breaker. Look at this. 70% breaks on demand. And cures himself of some breaks that he's using. Plus he has triple cast. You can use all of his ability- oh my god. This guy can be a breaker and also be a mage at the same time. This is insane. So this is basically another addition of another unit that can be a breaker slash mage. Like a side DPS. Although I would say more of the more aligned with he's a full-time mage with a side of breaking. So if your breaker is dead or busy or you know can't do it this turn, I know sometimes this, those kind of things happen. But he, could, he could break for you. He could do it. This is insane. I usually don't hype up units, but this is the hype. This is a hype banner, and, and we've just gotten started. We've barely gotten started, guys. We still have Pwn to talk about, and she's a whole another bag of chips. Seriously. So yeah. If you're new to the channel, play by the way. Please consider subscribing before we move on to Pwn. Please consider liking the video because this is this is some serious hype. Um, there's never been really hype for a banner like this since like the Esper units really in terms of value in terms of strength of the units so he's already really strong on top of you know a lot of things like um Pone is able to actually uh help him out by the way because he does have wind and light which we'll be getting to she is able to do things with those elements and this STMR is really crazy uh Props to the people probably going for this. I'm not going to be able to unless I get crazy lucky with pulls or something. And by the way, he is UOC-able. I just want to point that out for everybody who is not playing on the JP side right now and is free to play. This guy, this one of the strongest mages in the game, is UOC-able. You will not be able to hear that very often. So, if you need a new mage, this guy is definitely valuable. Mystic Cross Chaining, you'll be able to chain with Sarah. You'll be able to chain with Gilgamesh or the Visions. You'll be able to chain with um, Tetrasil Feed Fistless. So yeah, this is amazing. This is an amazing unit. Uh, UOC able, everything. Really great TMR with HP. Doesn't get to see HP on uh, passive or uh, don't get to see HP on magic equipment very often. So this is definitely a good grab. And the STR or something else. Anyways, on to Pwn. And just like before, uh, we have some crazy TMR and STMR combos here. 70% spirit. Because when you're equipping this, you're definitely going to be wanting it. You equip a staff, anyways. Uh, and this STMR is something else. This STMR is something else, guys. <laughs> All these mob boosts and things like that for abilities and magic and things. And also, uh, this is pretty crazy too, in a way. Um, Everything but dark element, uh, elements tied to this weapon. That's crazy. This is crazy, guys. This is this is pretty insane. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so this pwn is definitely a support for you guys that did not know, and she's definitely the next next level. She's basically Christmas Ayaka on steroids. Imagine if Christmas Ayaka got like ten enhancements. This is what she would turn out to be. So yeah, basically. She has lots of mitigation, lots of buffs, and that's just getting started. She does have chaining, which is like gonna be like physical. It's kind of like how Ace and Rim are, where they, um, I think so. Anyways, I think that's how it working. How it works is the star having I mean, asterisk next to it, and also look at this. Um, tag him. Full stat buff and also percent how much resistance is to these elements and also full stat break. And oh my god, here we go. Here's where the juicy part comes into play. So Tetra Sylphid has wind and water attacks. Magic attacks. So if you have Pwn on your team and you have Tetra Sylphid, Fistless, 
Now she gets boosted by 10% of her max mod boost. Ma imagine Tetra Sophie at her maximum um, boss, boss rush mode. And now you add 10% on top of her mods and all of her chaining and stuff. That's incredibly insane. That's really ins insane, dude. On top of, like, she has plant killer. She has mitigation against plants. And also stone killer and, and magic and physical damage mitigation against stone units. Like, this is insane. This is also kind of crazy in a way, just completely, just basically plain slate, plain slate move. Um, and this is the one most insane abilities I've ever seen. Basically, you get out of jail free card because for one turn, if you oh my god, I went too I went too far with my threshold. I crossed to, I crossed the threshold and I didn't mean to. Here is what you would use. Uh, basically, they're not gonna die to anything at all because fucking hard for swearing, but I mean, come on, really, dude. 90% general mitigation. All elements, 80%. And also auto revive for that one turn. Like, this is insane, dude. 40% mitigation on top of stat buffs. And also, mad limit burst damage increasements and limit burst damage. This is insane. This is really crazy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think so far. This is just. Wow. This unit is something else. This unit is definitely something else. And then we get to that juicy limit burst. And yeah, it's a little expensive at 38 crystals, but remember guys, we have this. 200% LB fill rate buff. And 30 LB crystals. So on top of that, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. 250% buff. 250% buff. On top of these boosts that you would get, kind of get as well. So on top of that, 120% in peril at, at max level when first. Oh my god. Ooh, this, this is something else. This is juicy. This is really juicy, guys. You definitely want to want to use this because she would get triple cast as a support. Being able to triple cast as a support, man. If only, um... Wait, what? That's... No, this can't be finished. Let's refresh the page. Hold on. What? She just gets it? No way, that's... Uh, no way. No way. Okay, let's... Let's... Hold on. Hold on, let's search this up. No way. She just gets triple cast forever. This is basically power creeping Regis. I mean, Regis is still good because he gives colors for viable opponents, but like, she just gets triple cast after she uses it. That's never been heard of, ever, as a support. She just permanently gets triple cast, because I, I, we really looked it up, guys. Triple cast forever, so she gets to use three of any of her abilities, probably. Let's look. Yep, she can triple cast all of her abilities. Wow. Oh my god, this is... Dude, despite all the hate for her limpers that she's getting on Reddit and stuff, like, this unit is insane. This is like the top tier support. This is, unfortunately, power creeps Santa Ayaka, but it was no surprise. Uh, she was non summon fest anyways, but she's still good. Uh, but this is something totally on another level. And I've never seen this before. I think maybe some obscure units have had something like this before, but this is... Yeah, I think some. I think someone has had this before, but this is still crazy. Um, that's really good. Um, overall, really insane immunity to stop. Oh my god, it just it just keeps coming. The gloriousness just keeps coming. The only the only downside that I see, and it's not really that big of a deal, because uh, uh, you're not really using it for damage. But she only has 25% spirit true to wield, which. There is no other spirit true to wield in the game. So, I mean, I don't really understand why she only has this, but keep in mind, guys, this is a season 3 main character. So she'll probably be getting an SVB buff. 
in the in the, in the long future from now. She'll probably be getting an SBB or latent ability in the far future. So, is this banner worth pulling on? Hell yes. Hell yes. Uh, considering one of the units is U.S. Siebel even, and if you get lucky, maybe you get one of them. Or if you, for example, only have 10 U.O.C.s, but you have 5k Lapis, what you could do is, is U.O.C. Luciano and spend that 5k to get his prism, and then there you go, you got a top tier mage. Man, it's been a while since there's been a really good banner like this, guys. A really long time. A really long time. Um, yeah, this this is this banner is great. It's the seal of approval for me. I didn't mean to make that weird kissing noise, but I mean it's like supposed to be like something Italian, you know, how Italians do that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Man, this is this is juicy, guys. It doesn't really get as juicy as this often, but and I don't normally get this excited. But man, I hope I can get at least one of one of Pwn, seriously, so I can buy a prism or something. I'm hoping I can get at least one of her, seriously. Please game, give me one of her. So definitely both of them get an A plus grading. And I'm, I think I'm gonna start creating units from now on. So both of them are A plus units for me. Or maybe gold, platinum, I don't know what the, what grading I should use. Uh, let's just use two gradings for now. Or let's see what you guys would like to see. So both of them get like a gold star from me. Or A plus, or whatever you want to call it. If you watched the video this far, type in hashtag amazing banner in the comment section below if you watched this far. Um, there's not really much else to say. There's just really insane mitigation, crazy mitigation, things of that nature, crazy uh, buffs that no one has ever seen before because this is completely new. Uh, this is not new, by the way. This mitigation against uh, certain enemies. Uh, Daisy has that versus humans, but only she has only humans. Whereas uh, Pwn has two element or two uh, races to mitigate against. So that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And Stone Killer is very useful, by the way. Stone and Plant Killer are becoming more useful because there there's a variety of bosses coming out on the on the JP side now. So thanks for watching, guys. I think we're about done now. Uh, I wish I could review the banner. I wish I could go to the banner, but I mean, we're still on maintenance, so. You know, keep in mind, guys, that could all change during maintenance times. They could, re could nerf some things. They could, you know, reduce them, some things, remove some things. They could remove Pwn's triple cast enabling thing. But I think that everything here is pretty solid so far. But in the in the comments or in the, in the video description, I will add any kind of editing or any edits if there's any nerfs or anything like that, but I think we should be good. So, yeah, if I th if you are free to play and you need a, a really top tier mage, go for that strategy. Get that 5k, you got that UOC, UOC him, use the 5k, get his prism, bam, done. Uh, make sure you're buying the right prism, by the way. Uh, if you need if you need any kind of translation help, go on my Discord down below. Link will be in the description. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember the keyword. Keyword is hashtag. Um, I already forgot it, so you'll have to you'll have to remember it. You'll have to write it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Please consider liking the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Man, what were they thinking with this? This is insane value. I hope I can get one of her.